So basically, in some kind of fucked up, twisted way, a narcissistic person could be, you know, could kind of be it be doing you a service because it points out that, oh, wow, I'm still shaken by this person. That just means that I need to go inward and think about once again what I think and making myself bigger to me letting myself take up the space instead of letting this person come in and overtake my headspace and fall back into that pattern of that old pot pattern of domination because you're so used to them dominating and basically stealing your voice but you know as you when you were growing up so that was like the conditioning i myself realized that um I think that a lot of the reason that I fall into, you know, instead of giving the narcissist a lot of like reasonings and things like that is because, you know, I always thought like, well, it doesn't matter what I say, right? Because no matter what I say, I am wrong. Cause, and that's true within a narcissistic uh, dynamic. They're right. You're wrong, period. That's just the way it is. So within that dynamic, it's like, well, what's the point? There is no point. But as you grow up, you realize, actually, they stole from me because there is a point to me voicing what I think. Even if it's not right to them, it doesn't matter. But we thought like, oh, well, it's not going to be right to them, so there's no point. There is a point because it's right to you. It's right to me. And that matters. We thought that it didn't matter, but it does matter. It matters, sorry, there's like a gnat. It matters because it helps us fill up and develop within ourselves. And I realized this past week that there's undeveloped, there, there's undeveloped spaces within myself. And that's one of them. Stating what I think, even though I know somebody else thinks something different or something opposite. Instead of retreating and saying, there's no point in stating what I think because this person thinks that. It's okay for me to take up space as well and say what I think. And I let that be right. This idea that just because somebody else said it, it has to be more right than you for yourself is wrong. <laughs> right, wrong, right, wrong. It's about developing what we feel is right for us internally and stating that um, and, not, and not feeling like it's pointless. Because if we keep saying it's pointless, then that part of us who knows who we are, what we want, what we like, what we think is smaller and smaller and smaller and just be, you know, is like this underdeveloped thing. And that's why the narcissist is able to take up more domination and space in our mind because of that undeveloped part of us. But we can develop it and develop it and develop it till it becomes nice and it fills us up and it's big. And where the narcissist can say something, sure, it might shake us a bit, but it's like, no, my own self, my sense of self is bigger than what the narcissist wants to say that I am, than the narcissist identity of who I am. So... Yeah, again, it just comes back to developing ourselves internally and and that's it. <laughs>